All right. Well, welcome everyone. I'm excited to see everybody. We've got a wonderful agenda today. So for those of you that uh, haven't got a chance to uh, meet me in person yet, my name is Steve Mills. I am the Rack and Power project lead for Open Compute. Um, and I want to introduce real quick uh, Caleb. Caleb, if you want to come up real quick. So uh, this is Caleb Lusk. He is uh, our newly minted uh, project lead. Um, so he and I together are, uh, are running the uh, Rack and Power project. If you want to introduce yourself just real quick. So it's nice to meet everybody. Um, yeah, Caleb Lusk with Rital. And I know some of the faces out here, a lot of the faces I don't know. But um, looking forward to the next two years of, of supporting where I can. So Super. thank you. Yeah. Um, and uh, someone else I want you guys to meet, James, you want to come up and introduce you real quick? Um, so James is the uh, IC lead for Rack and Power. I just want to make sure that uh, everybody uh, recognizes him. So um, he's our representative for incubation committee. So all of the work that we do get, rolls up into uh, the incubation committee, and so he's our representative for the Rack of Power on that committee. Um, so uh, just by show of hands, so uh, who is uh, attending their first uh, open compute engineering workshop for today? Right, so it's, it's quite a few of you. Um, so first of all, welcome. So the way that this works is this is a very a collaborative and interactive event, right? So this is intended to be uh, not us sitting up here doing presentations to you guys, right? As we go through this, right, we'll, we'll have uh, open discussions um, throughout the day, right? So some of these uh, topics that you see up here will be, will be pretty much open topics, right, where we're going to be looking to you guys as representatives of the community to kind of help drive um, these discussions, right? The decisions that we make are going to be coming from our community members. So as we go forward, feel free to speak up, get engaged, um, get involved. It makes things much, uh, much more interesting and helps all of us go a little bit uh, faster, right? Because you guys are all the experts, right? Amongst us, right? None of us are experts in all these fields that we're getting ready to talk to, right? So all of us kind of work together, right, as a community um, and rely on each other's expertise to kind of drive everything forward. Um, so now I'd like to kind of turn this over to uh, Archna. Archie, if you'd like to come up and uh, say some words about the foundation. Yep. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> um, can everyone hear me? Good. Can everyone see me? <laughs> All right. My name is Archna Haylock, and um, I am the community director for OCP. First of all, I wanted to thank Steve because Steve has put together a wonderful, wonderful agenda for all you guys and definitely to Delta Electronics for hosting us. It's a great venue and you'll get a chance to see their lab and a little bit more, hear a little bit more about Delta during lunch. Um, so a little bit about the foundation since so many of you are the first, uh, first timers here to our um, engineering workshop. Uh, small community, uh, small uh, committee of uh, members here, a large committee of participants. Um, Rocky Bullock is our CEO. I'm Archna, um, as I've introduced. Uh, we've got Bill Carter standing right here next to the sign. He's our CTO. Dirk Van Slyke met you at front. Uh, he's responsible for our marketing and communications. We've got Michael Schill. Stand up, Michael. He's responsible for membership. And then we've got a bunch of other people that are not here, but are at your, disposable, uh, at your disposal through our website. Um, Rajiv Sharma, Director of Software and Technologies, um, all of the embedded firmware, um, software-related uh, topics and, and community uh, Rajiv takes care of. Steve Helvey is in charge of our channel development. As you know, OCP doesn't sell any products, uh, but we do work with a lot of suppliers, and we do have a very strong marketing channel and that marketing channel is available to you to get a hold of our solution providers, uh, Delta being one of them. You've probably heard uh, Kaylee on a lot of our conference calls. All of our communities meet once a, mo once a month, sometimes a little bit uh, more frequently, and Kaylee and Michael together man the phone calls and the conference um, agendas. 
So OCP was founded by Facebook. Uh, Mark Rennick was there at the very, very beginning of Facebook. Uh, he left. Um, I'm sorry, he was with Rackspace, and he was one of uh, the founding members here of, uh, of the community and uh, of uh, our foundation. He left and then came back. So recently he rejoined us at, um, as our chairman, and he's currently at uh, Facebook now. Uh, the, the rest of the representatives, uh, Goldman Sachs, Intel, Microsoft, Rackspace, and then Andy Bechtelsheim is an independent um, uh, foundation board member. A little bit about OCP. We are about 200 corporate members. Uh, those members include adopters, suppliers, both hardware and software, and solution providers. Altogether, about 6,000 participants, um, 6,000 engineers, um, coming from all walks of life, uh, technical, business development, sales. We've got some executives, uh, manufacturing and process, facilities, and then, of course, uh, several universities that are part of the OCP community. We've got memberships from all over the world, and if you wanted to go take a look at our membership directory to see all of the members, uh, you can take a look right there. Um, our recent news, uh, we usually do a lot of blog posting for uh, members that join our community. LinkedIn was the least recent one. Um, they are very excited to become part of Open Compute. Uh, they're doing a lot of development with 19-inch racks. Uh, we're really looking forward to seeing a lot of contributions come from them. Um, their parent company, as you know, Microsoft is already a member, so we're really excited to, to get uh, LinkedIn on board as well. A little bit about our membership and how we work. There are four levels of community membership, uh, sorry, four levels of membership starting at the community level, which is our, our observation level, if you will. Uh, these are members that are very interested in understanding what the trends and uh, speeds and feeds of OCP are. Um, you can join at that level very, very easily. It's $2,500, um, and then work your way up to platinum. Our membership is a little different. The dues actually go, uh, go down as you go higher up. Uh, the whole hope is that uh, you'll participate more, and so that's why you don't have to pay as much. Um, so a cost for a community level is $2,500, where a cost for platinum is actually $40,000. Um, there are different requirements in terms of the level of contribution that we expect from our platinum members. Um, there's also volunteer positions that uh, you're eligible to run. If you become a higher tiered member, there are speaking engagements that you can do on our behalf. Obviously, small foundation board, we can't be there every, you know, at every event. So we look to our members, um, especially our platinum members, to go out there and, and talk about OCP and their experiences with OCP. And then um, as you go further up um, the tier, you actually get a lot more discounts um, towards our summit sponsorship and to towards other events that we sponsor. By the way, all OCP workshops are free. Um, so there's no, you know, there's no cost for attending workshops like these. These are provided by our members like Delta, completely free of charge to you. Um, what are the benefits of joining an organization like ours? Well, you get to network and connect with industry leaders and innovators out there. You get access to new trends. You get to collaborate, um, become part of a global community, and participate in all sorts of projects um, that are really affecting the community today and figure out how to address those challenges together. Um, one of the key things here is you actually get to contribute your subject matter expertise without giving up control of your IP. I'll talk a little bit more about contributions in a minute, but basically you get to retain your IP. There's no, uh, the foundation doesn't do anything with IP. We don't take it, we don't use it. Um, you're actually just allowing a contribution to come through without a patent assert on it. Here is a, a snapshot of all of our projects. We've got projects um, dealing with technology like server networking, storage, and rack and power. And we've got projects that are also dealing with marketplaces like uh, data center facilities or telco, um, security, and high performance computing. Um, this is kind of all of our projects in a uh, snapshot, and each one of these projects has a charter. So the charter is on our website. If you get an opportunity, read it, just so you understand exactly what each of these projects are working on. 
Each project, as you know, is run by one or two volunteer leaders. You've uh, seen uh, Steve and Caleb. They're our volunteer leaders for the Rack and Space Project, uh, Rack and uh, Power Project. Um, <laughs> uh, some projects have subgroups. Um, in this case, we're starting a subgroup. Uh, we're starting one on advanced cooling, and we're also starting one on power interoperability, the power shelf in interoperability. Um, our networking project has a lot of subgroups, um, ranging from Sonic and Psi to um, you know, access points and um, you know, equipment. So check it out. All of this information is available on our website. Each project has a wiki page, so anything that's going on, work in progress, contributions in progress, they're all there on the wiki page, along with meeting minutes and agendas for up upcoming meetings. Um, each project has a mailing list, so those of you that are not on a mailing list, get on a mailing list. You can get on the project page and subscribe to a mailing list, and you'll find out about upcoming events, um, upcoming calls, um, and upcoming, you know, information um, for, for the, um, the project itself. Um, all calls are recorded, so if your coworkers and colleagues cannot make it today, this particular workshop will be recorded. It's being recorded right now, and the, the actual recording will be available on OCP past events. So when you go to the opencompute.org website, go under events and go under past events, and this particular workshop will be there along with the slide deck. And then a lot of the projects have workshops, so we'll be talking about some upcoming events, but um, you know, you register for this workshop, there are other workshops happening as well, coming up in the next couple of months. You can go ahead and register for those. Um, so coming back to contributions, what do we mean by contributions? They start with proposals and ideas from our community. Sometimes they come from customers like you. Sometimes they come from adopters that are requiring a very specific, they're trying to address a very specific challenge. They're coming from other open organizations like, um, say, uh, the Open BMC, you know, or they're coming from uh, Open Networking um, Foundation, or they're coming from CORD or OPNFE, and they're coming to OCP and saying, hey, look, we're working on a very specific problem, and we need some help in terms of working with you on the hardware side and on the solution side. So it's kind of really interesting to see a lot of these proposals and ideas turn into our project community. And they come in through the community to Steve and to Caleb, and Steve and Caleb work with the rest of the other project communities in OCP to see if there's relevance there, if there's connections there. And sometimes one particular concept or idea will get you know, presented to not only the Rack and Power group, but it might get presented to the server group, or it might get also presented to the, the telco group. And together, the, the contributor is getting a lot of feedback from all the different communities on what's good, what's not good, and how to make it better. And based on that, there's revisions that are happening on their proposal. So there's a lot of collaboration that happens with other project teams. And eventually, that leads to a contribution to the foundation and to the community. You can either contribute a spec or design files or get your product recognized if it's based on a spec. You can have reference architectures. You can have white papers. You can have software. All of that gets you know, contributed to the, to the foundation. And through the project leads like Caleb and Steve, they will come up to a vote to our, um, to our steering committee. And within OCP, it's called our incubation committee. And folks like James Zhao, who was introduced earlier, and other IC leaders get together and vote on this. And once it gets voted, then we put it on our um, website. So if you go to the OCP, uh, opencompute.org slash contributions, you will see specs there. You will see design files there. If you go to opencompute, um, org slash marketplace, you will see products that have been recognized and endorsed by the foundation. And so it's actually a really, really, you know, tight-knit process. It works very smoothly, and you can get from point A to point B in under three months. It just depends on how much feedback you get and how quickly you can make that, that feedback, um, you know, roll that feedback into the, uh, into the final product. So, Traditionally, we've had specs, 
design packages and embedded software, and they all get contributed to OCP under a contribution license agreement. And what that means is it's a royalty-free patent non-assert, meaning that you retain your IP, but what you're doing is ensuring the public that is gonna be consuming these specs, consuming these design packages, working with the embedded software, that you're not going to assert any patents on that one spec or that one version of the software. So you retain your IP, and we, the community, get a chance to benefit from your um, know-how. Products are not given to OCP. They're simply recognized. So it's a validation program. We go through and we validate that it's based on an open spec and that it's you know, out there and ready and somebody can consume it. And so those products, again, the IP retains with the consumer or with, I'm sorry, with the supplier or the manufacturer, we're simply validating it. So traditionally, specs, design files, and product recognition was, we were, what, was what we were doing. In March of this year, we actually added all of these other things as contributions. So if you're an adopter, you may not have a spec, you may not have a design file, you may not have a product, but you will have a lot of experience using OCP. So you'll have white papers that you can give us. You can give us case studies. You can give us testimonials because other people are, are also looking to adopt OCP and they would want to learn from your experience. Um, we're putting together workshops and summits. Um, we're putting together videos. So we would always look for content for that video and we would love to get content from our community. Wrapping up, Wanted to talk about um, some upcoming events so that you can take a, a quick look at what's going on. As I mentioned, the workshop today is being videotaped. It will be on the OCP website within a week. We're targeting a network engineering workshop. It's late August right now. Target is likely here in San Jose as well. Uh, keep you know, your eye on the OCP event page if you're interested in attending that. It'll be a full day workshop because there's so much going on in that community. Um, Likely, first half of the day will be um, general event, and then the second half of the day will be broken out into sub-projects. DCD Cloud and Colo is a conference that is held in Dallas, Texas, and we are targeting a day zero workshop there on October 29th. Uh, it's in the planning stages. We're trying to figure out exactly what tracks we need to have, um, you know, which project groups need time face-to-face -to, -face to collaborate, and so, we're in the process of planning. If you're interested, again, take a look at our website. Um, our IC meetings, these are our, our voting meetings. Uh, they occur every six weeks, so if you're looking at contributing, um, present it to the, the project group first here. You know, talk to Steve or Caleb. They have calls set up, and uh, you can present it to the community, and once you get past them, it'll go before the IC. Um, regional Summit, October 1st and 2nd, we have a Regional Summit in Amsterdam um, at the Rye Convention Center. It is our first European foray, and it was, again, from a demand from the community there. There was so many people asking us for something local because they could not travel to our um, annual summit in uh, San Jose. So with that much demand, we're expecting about 1,000 people there. Uh, sponsorships are still available. Registration is open. If you're interested in, um, in registering, please go ahead and do so now. Um, I know hotels are, are kind of a pain in the butt at that point in time. Um, it's also uh, bookended by the Open Networking Summit the, weekend bo the week before. So Thursday, Friday of the week before is the Open Networking Summit. And right after our summit is actually the Open Power Summit. So we always try to piggyback on other conferences, especially sister conferences like Open Power or Open Networking so that people can come and attend one, you know, spend um, their time wisely if they're going to travel. The o OCP Summit is in uh, March, March 14th and 15th. It'll be here at the San Jose Convention Center. Um, right now, if you're planning on sponsoring one summit, you can bundle that uh, together, and we have bundle uh, packages available. You can talk to Dirk right here uh, if you're interested in um, sponsoring that event. And I think that's it for me.